welcome back uh, to my channel. This is Naturally Divine Goddess, also known as Shauna. Welcome if this is your first time and welcome back if you are returning. This is for your solar eclipse, sun, moon, and rising sign of uh, Scorpio. Um, this is your new moon reading. Um, I said that all backwards, but <laughs> new moon is Sagittarius reading uh, for you. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Um, and don't forget to turn on that notification bell if you haven't already. Um, to be, you know, notified when the new videos are uh uploaded uh, you know I'm, as i'm shuffling i am just letting spirit just come through with these cards because they have literally been on fire with this new moon energy with this and which is will be here on uh december 4th if you haven't already been feeling this see find out I just want to go ahead and pull the, all the cards for you so we can have a discussion. I hope the uh, lighting is okay um, because I just did um, Twitch with the wonderful Dawn of Sonora Mystic Tarot. And uh, so I had to readjust my camera back. <laughs> Oh, so I hope it is, and the lighting is good too. Everything is fine. Okay, okay, let's go ahead and get started. Um, and I will pull more in spirit directs. Me too. Let me put them over here. Okay, so we have the king, king of swords already. The king of swords is, you know, being having this emotional control right now and being in control. Uh, and you are in control. You ha you have came out of this cocoon, and what this new moon um, energy, what the solar eclipse energy is bringing in for for you, Scorpios, is is you already uh, are, are there. You have reached a point where you have came out of the cocoon, and you are ready to bloom and fly. You are protected by the divine. You and you are being guided, and you are listening. You are doing that work, and and you are being in control. You're actually being generous. You're being generous to yourself for allowing this energy and allow yourself to be moved by spirit now you have the two of pentacles here the two of pentacles is is understanding the balance it's also um adapt adapting but it's also saying um some time management needs to fall into play this is what i'm i'm getting um because it's um feeling like um you're you're not getting your projects done and you feel like, okay, if I can't get my projects done, um, then I don't, you know, it's going to mess everything up, but you're going to come out of this. You're going to, um, whatever decision that you're going to make, it's going to be the decision that is going to bring you abundance into your life. And it's going to bring that balance in. So those projects start them back up, set those new intentions. Um, sometimes, you know, spirit has you to go through a different path. You have the six of wands here. The six of wands is, is, is saying, you know, there's victory and you being recognized for what you do now. And this is amazing. Um, and this is a business um, type of, uh, of thing that, I, you know, type of energy that I'm reading. It's also with the temperance card of, of you being patient, being patient and knowing that what you are doing, the, the things that you are doing, that this is your life purpose because you have courage, you have the strength, you know, with the, with the strength card here, you have the courage to, and uh, to persevere you have um you are in control once again of the emotions now you have the seven of pentacles 
The seven of pentacles is you looking right at what you invested in. You looking at the time that you have and put into a project. You are looking at a time where you have put into yourself, into your business. And now you are um, seeing it grow. You seeing it be where um, this, your vision has came in to fruition. Now the five of pentacles is, is, is making you feel like you're kind of feeling left out a little bit. Um, and, and you're worrying about what if it doesn't bring in the finances that I want or the abundance that you need, but don't worry about that. Um, you know, get out of your head, get out of that emotion, get out of that feeling, let that go. What the emperor card is here is, is, uh, you know, that confirmation of you have set that solid foundation that you are the one that is making all of this work. This is Aries energy. Okay. So with this energy as well, you know, tap into that. If it's somewhere in your church, tap into that Scorpios and move and, and have that action, you know, let go with this eight of one, uh, eight of swords here, this self imprisonment that you have, um, you know, the restrictions that you have put on yourself and let go, literally let go and walk away, walk away what no longer serves you and get back into yourself, get back into, um, into your inner self, your inner guidance, you know, get outside, you know, get out there and really take in that fresh air and be where, um, it makes you feel, back in balance again okay let's see the spirit look at their high priestess and the three of wands the high priestess is literally listen to your intuition um you know you're being guided here you you being um guided into um divinely guided is what i'm hearing also uh getting and tapping into your spirit guys, talking and speaking with your uh, guardian angels, your ascending masters, your crew. You got the three of wands because now you are looking to expand. You, you, you getting prepared for something that is, uh, it is coming into your life. Look at that. The king of pentacles. All right. The king of pentacles is, is that that security that you are seeking. And this is the abundant. This is the financial stability. This is the, um, this is all your power. This is you having that confidence that you done it because why you stuck to how it had to get done. Don't stop moving because you have the eight of wands here. The eight of wands here is, is saying, you know, look, there is a, 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 a quick change that is about to happen. And that change is going to force you to be in that action. And you have to make sure that you have, um, done the meditation and continue to do that inner work. You got the nine of wands. The nine of wands is, is that perseverance and the resilience that you have that courage Okay. You got this. Just, just adapt and adjust with this flow. All right. And step out of your way, step out of the way that you feel like, or not no, or step out of the way that makes you feel like, um, well, why this is not happening the way I want it to happen. Well, this is all divine timing. And once it happens, it's going to happen very quick. Now for some, this can involve some traveling. And right now, you know, it's all crazy of the traveling, but do not stop what you are doing. Do not stop this process because this is going to bring you the happiness that you are seeking. And that way of, of you are making sure that you are taking care of self. You got to step out of this prison, these, this, the restriction that you feel like that's around you right now. Let that go. Break that down. Okay? Because there's, there's 
really there's victory here. All right. So on that note, and that being said, I greatly appreciate you Scorpios stopping by for your solar eclipse new moon reading. And um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you don't, it is okay. I greatly appreciate you anyway. I love y'all. I love the feedback. I love the comments. I love the likes. I appreciate all of y'all. That being said, peace and blessings, gods and goddesses. Until the next time.